Okay, friends, uh, in this uh, tutorial, which is number 11, is the penultimate uh, tutorial. I'm going to have a tutorial 12, and that's the, the final, all the tutorials in learning to play chess. And here in this one, um, Dairo playing against a computer. Uh, I'm I played two games against the computer in a website called chess.com and um, and you can you can go there it's, it's free uh, to play uh, to play against computers and you can play against uh, other players whatever and um, so so here in this um, game that I'm right now um, I'm playing in a very low level uh, because I have defeated computers in the past in uh, up to 12, 13, 14 levels. Usually they have 16 levels. Computer has 16 levels. And in the level 16, the computers take a long time to answer. And I don't have much patience for that. So I play up to uh, 12 level and I have defeated them even in 12, 13 levels. Um, they take time to think, but it's not that much. So I had defeated them in, um, in, in, in those um, big levels. This level I'm playing here is about about six, seven, and the response very quickly. I just wanted to show you how how a games um, a game against a computer uh, looks like in this particular game that I'm playing uh, and the one that I played before that uh, is shown here in this tutorial. It happens that um, this website, so somehow they, they change the, the format they have. In the past, I could uh, I could expand the uh, the board, the electronic board that is in the computer and the website. I could expand it to a uh, whole view, but here they don't allow me to do that. On the, rest, on the right side, they, they put in some advertisement. Uh, and so I had a limited uh, area in the in the board to uh, to show you well this you will get the point uh, it's very clear the uh, my move and the response I get in from the uh, AI artificial intelligence that the computer is using to play against me and so so here it goes both uh, games I play here they go to, uh, really fast and uh, less than ten minutes in each game. And my responses are fast, and the computer responses are fast. And so the game went, uh, the two games went pretty quickly. Uh, you won't be hearing me uh, talking too much. Uh, I just want you to hear the um, the sound that the piece uh, make when they land um, from the uh, original position to the plate uh, uh, square, and they make all this. A sound uh, just for the pieces I move as well as the pieces that the computer move in response to my move. So I will uh, keep myself myself quiet in some some time so you you can hear the the, um, the play. On the right side of the computer, you're gonna see sometimes advertise on this website put some advertise on there. Um, I couldn't get rid of it. Uh, the only way of getting rid of that uh, advertisement is to ex uh, expand the um, the image to to fall. Uh, but this website right now is not allowing me to do that, so I have to live with the advertisement on the right side, which is very distracting. But that's the way it goes when you play for free. <laughs> so, so. Um, Check all the all the moves that I made and the, uh, the moves that the computer made. Um, also, um, remember all the uh, tutorials in the past where I explained where the pawns move, how they take another piece. Uh, see, see this happening here, no? When I when a pawn take a piece, it goes in diagonal to the left or to the right, and one one square. And it's blocked when they has another piece in front. So, so I also check the the move for the 
fish of that I told you they play in diagonal, either a black diagonal with a black squares or a white diagonal that has uh, white squares. And also the move that the, um, uh, the other pieces make, the queen, the king, the uh, rooks. So you can see here, visualize when they move and where they move. The object of this tutorial is not to um, explain to you in detail uh, the reason why I make uh, any particular move or uh, why the computer respond to uh, my move. The object of this uh, tutorial uh, in which I'm playing uh, two games against the uh, computer is so you can see uh, how all this knowledge that you have before in all the tutorials, how the pieces move. And so you can see how all the, the pieces move on the board. And, um, and if something skips to you, and you always can go back and rewatch the, the tutorial and, and see in detail or pause it and you just see the position that I have in a given moment on the board. So you can figure it out according to the knowledge that you had acquired. You can figure it out why the move was made. Sometimes we make the, some move in chess that are irrational because the chess game can have a lot of pressure on there. Sometimes we move, uh, make a move radically. It's not the best one that we should have done. But if you're interested in learning chess, as you play with other people, as you play with the computer, as you acquire more and more um, confidence in yourself, in your game, you're going to develop the ability to um, acquire this knowledge of, uh, that I had explained before. And the objective of playing a chess game other than get entertained is the objective, the main objective of the, any chess game is to, for one side and the other, to acquire a positional advantage over the other uh, player. And as he's uh, in such a position that he can later on uh, try to win the game, uh, checkmate the opponent, the king. And that's the, the main objective for playing chess. So that main objective is uh, you will learn um, by experience, by practicing and playing with other players. Or having a match against uh, a computer in the same way that I'm or doing right a match here. against uh, a computer in the same way that I'm doing right here. And you will probably have many, many checkmates in your life as you play before you learn the things that you shouldn't do in the game and you learn your own skills. And the skills and the way a uh, different chess player, including masters, is, is not the same. The, every player has a way of uh, focusing in, in a game and using the proper strategy that the player seems to know is best for him. And some players have different openings. Some some player had a different way of uh, simplifying games because that's the best for him for them to play with uh, fewer pieces. So they use the proper strategy according to the way they like to play. Uh, it's, they like to play against any uh, opponent. So this you you will learn later on. And you will develop your own skills and see what's best for you when you play a uh, chess game. In any case, the strategy that we had when we uh, begin a game is not necessarily the strategy that we use uh, as the game is coming to um, uh, get, uh, an end. Uh, here, in this particular final that I'm having here, um, the AG or artificial intelligence of the computer have been extremely generous to me, uh, giving, giving me uh, pieces that uh, it shouldn't have given me. So I got a tremendous amount of power in comparison with the, um, what the computer has. Uh, so 
In cases like this, um, I usually like to simplify the, the, the game, especially I like to take out or eliminate main pieces that the opponent has. And the end result will be that I will be overwhelmingly more powerful than my opponent. And that will take me to win the game. There will be checking mate or resignation, whatever. But this tremendously uh, powerful advantage that I have in position and also in, in pieces, in troops, is we uh, compare a chess game like two troops, two kingdoms that are fighting each other in the battlefield. So when I have an overwhelming superiority in position and also in pieces, then uh, I try to eliminate uh, the remaining uh, possible opposition that the opponent has and take uh, the pieces out and simplify the game. And I will win the game by doing this. As you have seen here, uh, the computer has given me the sign you won. So, okay, good luck. And this is all for, for the time being. And. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, which is uh, tutorial 12, which will be the last uh, tutorial of this series. And with that, I will end my teaching of chess to the public. Okay? Bye-bye.